Hello, everyone. Bonjour tout le monde. Thank you for the warm welcome. It's great to be here this afternoon, and thank you for the kind introduction, Nina. Ladies and gentlemen, what a pleasure it is to host you here in Toronto at one of the more exciting and interesting times in Canada's recent history. Welcoming the world to Toronto for the 2018 uh, Fortune Global Forum is yet another big moment in a series of big, important moments for our economy and for our people. Just look at the past few months. This summer, we hosted the world's political leaders at the G7 in Charlevoix, Quebec, to talk about how best to create an economy that works for everyone. Just a few weeks ago, we made tremendous progress on trade with two of our closest partners. We reached an agreement in principle with the US and Mexico on a new, modernized trade pack, the United States-Mexico-Canada Agreement. The USMCA will in ensure continued free and fair trade across North America and create new opportunities for Canadian businesses and entrepreneurs. It's an agreement that will benefit our economy and strengthen our middle class. Today is another important moment for Canada with business leaders and CEOs from around the globe here to talk business, investment, and innovation. Et le mois prochain, Nous poursuivrons cette conversation lorsque Montréal accueillera le sommet international Fortune Most Powerful Women. J'ai hâte de participer à cet événement qui, j'en suis certain, donnera lieu à des discussions très productives. Ladies and gentlemen, this is all just a start. Every day, momentum grows as Canada takes the lead on the world stage and drives growth here at home. So when I say that this is a big moment for the Canadian economy, here are just a few numbers to back it up. Canada's unemployment rate is the lowest it's been in 40 years. 600,000 more Canadians are working today than at this time two years ago. And wages are growing at their fastest rate in close to a decade. Those workers are powering success across the board. Our economy is one of the best performing in the G7. Not only that, but Canada has the lowest net debt-to-GDP ratio in the G7, less than half the average of the other G7 nations. As you all know, that's the marker of a strong fiscal foundation. My friends, Canada's recent economic success is not a coincidence. It's a direct result of making smart, targeted investments in Canadian innovation and in Canadian communities. We took action to grow the economy by boosting consumer confidence, lowering taxes for the middle class, and putting more money back into the pockets of Canadians. Our next step was giving Canadians the tools they need for the jobs of the future, and investing nearly a billion dollars in five supercluster regions that will serve as global innovation hubs. We're also making historic investments in fundamental science to support innovation, introducing a regulatory reform agenda, lowering taxes for small businesses, and offering greater support for women in the workforce. Et bien sûr, nous n'accomplissons pas ce travail tout seul. Comme gouvernement, nous savons qu'en travaillant avec les chefs d'entreprise, nous pouvons transformer les défis en possibilités. Vous jouez un rôle premier dans notre plan visant à créer une croissance durable et profitable pour les familles tout comme pour les entreprises. As we establish and implement our long-term strategic vision for Canada, we're already seeing impressive results. Two weeks ago, I was in Vancouver to announce the single largest private sector investment in Canadian history, $40 billion to build a major liquefied natural gas project in northern BC. This is truly an international project, a joint venture between five companies, from five different countries. And it comes on the heels of other recent major investments by companies like SAP, Siemens, Salesforce, Toyota, Amazon, Microsoft, and Thomson Reuters, to name just a few. The LNG project is a great example of how, all at the same time, we can attract global investment, create jobs, and fight climate change with progressive environmental policies, like putting a price on pollution and introducing a world-class oceans protection plan. 
LNG produces half the carbon emissions of coal, and this specific project will mean 10,000 good jobs for Canadians at the height of construction. Andy Kalitz, the CEO of LNG Canada, who's with us today, will do a fantastic job on this project. On top of this historic investment, our huge progress on trade with the USMCA will support working people in every sector of the economy and ensure that Canadian businesses have access to a market of 470 million people. Between this agreement, CETA, CPTPP, and our other trade agreements, Canada now has preferred market access to two-thirds of the global economy. Indeed, we're the only G7 country with a free trade deal with every other G7 country. Nous sommes également le seul pays du G7 à avoir conclu des accords commerciaux avec tous les autres membres du G7. Cet accès unique assure la position du Canada au sein d'un réseau commercial mondial qui profite à tout le monde. Parce que ce ne sont pas seulement les Canadiens eux-mêmes qui prennent note de la prospérité qui découle du commerce progressiste et diversifié, les entreprises en prennent note aussi. Well, I'm looking forward to talking more about the Canadian advantage in my discussion with Alan, because this is Canada's moment to lead, and we're making it easy for you to lead with us. La nouvelle Banque de l'Infrastructure du Canada aide les gens du secteur privé à nouer des partenariats avec le gouvernement en vue de réaliser des grands projets d'infrastructure. Notre stratégie en matière de compétences mondiales aide les entreprises à attirer les meilleurs talents du monde en permettant aux entreprises de faire venir au Canada les plus brillants et talentueux en aussi peu de temps que deux semaines. Just in case you doubt your high school French, let me repeat that one right there. Our new global skills strategy will allow companies from around the world to bring in their top talent and set up shop in Canada in two weeks. Our new Invest in Canada agency is a one-stop shop for international businesses looking to invest with us. On that note, let me recognize Ian McKay, the CEO of Invest in Canada, who's just come from another Fortune event in Japan to be here with us this afternoon and who's doing outstanding work in his role. But there's even more that creates the Canadian advantage and makes our country and our people competitive. Canada is home to one of the most highly educated and diverse workforces in the world, a workforce that's constantly innovating and knows how to elevate a company to the cutting edge. Nos systèmes bancaires et juridiques sont incroyablement stables pour les citoyens comme pour les investisseurs, et nos communautés fortes et multiculturelles sont des endroits où les, Canadiens, les gens veulent vivre, travailler et élever leur famille. Mesdames et messieurs, que vous souhaitiez chercher un endroit pour établir une nouvelle usine de fabrication, explorer différentes avenues pour faire croître votre entreprise ou choisir une nouvelle ville pour installer le siège de votre entreprise, pensez à ce que le Canada peut vous offrir. The conditions are right for Canada to cement our status as a global economic leader. This is Canada's moment. And you're all here because you're interested in being a part of it. Together, we can and will drive the progress that defines our generation here in Canada and right around the world. Merci beaucoup tout le monde. Thank you very much.